Hello viewers, how are you? Welcome to my channel. Look at this patient. This is a case of huge neck mass. Suppose you have operated the patient and placed a drain tube. In the post-operative period, when the patient starts oral feeding, you noticed that a milk-like fluid is coming out through the drain tube. And this is a case of chylus fistula. First to know what is chyle and how it is circulated through the body. Chyle is the byproduct of digestion and absorption of fat. Most of the absorbed fats combine with lipoprotein, cholesterol and phospholipid to form chylomicrons. These chylomicrons enter the lacteals as a milky fluid which is known as chyle. The lacteals containing chyle coalesce to form cisterna chyli. The cisterna chyli then pierces the diaphragm and goes upward in the thoracic cavity behind the esophagus. In the neck, it crosses between internal jugular vein and scalene muscle. Then it drains at the junction of left internal jugular vein and left subclavian vein. Or it can drain directly into the left internal jugular vein. Chylus fistula, which is also known as chyle leak, is not a true fistula. Rather than the chyle finds its way through the drain. So, what are the etiologies of chylus fistula? Injury to the thoracic duct causes chylus fistula which can result from neck dissection involving the left supraclavicular fossa, especially level 4 lymph node area. The thoracic duct is at risk of damage during division of the lower end of the internal jugular vein during neck dissection involving the left supraclavicular fossa. Chyle leak can occur in 0.4 to 1.5 percent of cases after thyroidectomy operation and in 2 to 8 percent of cases after neck dissection. It can also occur after thoracic surgery, especially surgery of the esophagus. Sometimes trauma to the neck can result in chyle leak. The chyle leak can be classified as low output type and high output type. When the chyle leak is less than 500 ml in 24 hours, it is termed as low output leak. And when the leak is more than 500 ml in 24 hours, it is termed as high output leak. Now come to the clinical features of chylus fistula following major head neck surgery. The chylus fistula becomes evident when in the post-operative period the patient starts oral feeding. The drain fluid looks milky in nature and increases in quantity gradually. As thoracic duct drains at the left side of the neck, most of the chylus fistula are left sided. But it can also occur in the right side in 5% of cases due to injury of the right lymphatic duct. What are the effects of chylus fistula on patient? Chyle contains lymphocyte, immunoglobulin, triglyceride and fat soluble vitamins like vitamin A, D, E and K. So the chyle leak causes dehydration, electrolyte imbalance and hyperproteinemia to the patient. Chyle leak can also cause tissue loss locally and creates problem in own healing. So what are the investigations to do? We can analyze the drain tube fluid for triglyceride level. The triglyceride level in normal drain tube fluid is less than 100 mg per deciliter. But if the triglyceride level of the drain tube fluid is more than 110 mg per deciliter, then it is confirmatory for chylus fistula. A chest x-ray is also recommended to rule out chylothorax. Now come to the management of chylus fistula. The management is divided into conservative management and interventional management. Conservative management is appropriate for low output leaks. These are pressure bandages, elevation of the head, restriction of dietary fat and placing the patient on medium chain triglyceride containing fat. 
why the patient is placed on medium chain triglyceride containing fat because the long chain triglyceride enters the blood stream via chyle but medium chain triglyceride enters the blood stream directly without entering the chyle system so if the patient is placed on medium chain triglyceride fat then it enters directly into the blood stream without contributing to the production of chyle so we have to know what are the long chain triglyceride fats and what are the medium chain triglyceride fats most of the fats contain long chain triglycerides these are soybean oil olive oil meat fish nuts and medium chain triglyceride containing fats are coconut oil palm kernel oil and dairy products so for the conservative management we have to give pressure bandage we have to elevate the head of the patient we have to place the patient on medium chain triglyceride fats any electrolyte abnormality should be corrected there is a drug called octreotide which is a long acting analog of the hormone somatostatin can be given subcutaneously 100 microgram three times daily octreotide reduces splanchnic blood flow thus it contributes to the reduction of gastrointestinal chyle production orally stat which is a pancreatic lipase inhibitor is also used for reducing chyle production when this conservative measure fails or when the chylus fistula is of high output type or when the chylus fistula is noticed in the immediate postoperative period then interventional management is indicated the options are surgical exploration with ligation of the stump video assisted thoracoscopic ligation of the thoracic duct tetracycline or doxycycline sclerosing therapy administered through the indwelling catheter or drain tube prevention is better than cure so during surgery if we suspect that there is a chyle leak then for paraoperative identification we can do some maneuvers we can ask the anesthesiologist to give positive pressure ventilation we can place the patient in Trendelenburg position that is the head is lowered 15 to 30 degree loops can also be used to identify any milky fluid at the surgical field if chyle leak is identified paraoperatively then gentle exploration and ligation of the thoracic duct and its branches is recommended this is done with non-absorbable suture after ligating with non-absorbable suture adjunctic measures can be taken like fat grafting and surgical placement that's all from Kailas Pistula. Hope you have enjoyed today's session. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.